were conducting the marsh water to my will, if it was where I'd gotten those powers in the first place, should be a piece of cake. But I already felt tired. Why was this so hard? Kai answered the question I hadn't voiced out loud. You're worried. Your powers make you nervous. You're still afraid you'll hurt someone. Yeah. You can't really hurt us. I mean, we've already been dead. I guess if something happens to these bodies, we'd just find new ones? I'm not sure, but that'd be my best guess. I really didn't want to think about that. When the guys had first barged into my life, without me really understanding who and what they were, I'd wanted nothing more than to get away from them. But now, just weeks later, the thought of losing them might as well have ripped me down the middle. An ache swelled around my heart. They'd been the first people who'd really supported me and been there for me when I was a kid, and they were the only people I'd been able to turn to since I'd gotten back into town. They'd recognized the strength I had in me, both supernatural and otherwise, and helped me bring it out. I didn't know what I'd do if they'd vanished, and I was left to deal with this insanity on my own all over again. The pain of that possibility sent the hum roaring through me with twice as much force as before. A shiver ran down my back, and I gulped the damp air. Then I fixed my attention on the lake and beckoned. A warbling sound filled the air and rang through my nerves. A taste like algae crept into the back of my mouth. Then a surge of water swept up over the bank and rippled across the grass to kiss my feet. More, I thought, leaning into the warbled harmony, twisting the melody in my mind into a shape I wanted to see. The water slipped back to the marsh and then shot upward in a thin but towering wave. My control wasn't perfect. Little droplets rained down on us as the wave held its rigid loom. Jet looked up in awe, lifting his hands as if he were framing the image with them for a future painting. <laughs> I inhaled shakily, a smile crossing my lips, and shooed the water back toward the marsh. The wave flipped over and crashed down into the reeds, splattering the tree trunks along the shore. What do you think? Ready to take on the world? <laughs> Maybe not the entire world quite yet, but I think it's time I talked to my sister and found out exactly...